Let's take a look at the six foot eight forward out of Montverde Academy, headed to Texas, Dylan Mitchell. I hate to start with the negative, but we are gonna start with his shooting, which is something that really needs to grow and improve. He only made one three this past season, according to the season ticket. I did wanna show that here, just so you could get a look at his form. And he also only shot 60% from the free throw line. So you'll get to see a rep there of him shooting a free throw if you're one that really likes to break down the shots and take a look at them in that way. And one reason the shooting needs to improve is he does play on the perimeter just a little bit but because the shooting is lacking you see defenders don't even close out to him which doesn't open up an ability for him to really drive into the lane and get to the rim him creating with the ball in his hands is just not something we really saw I don't know that it's a strength but I do think he could do it a little bit more if guys had to go guard him on the perimeter again you see the defender playing way off he makes the nice pass here you also see how left hand dominant that pass was which will be a theme throughout this breakdown as well but as the play continues you see one of the things Dylan Mitchell does the best which is offensive rebound does it at a very high level here he does get the drive the mid-range jumper obviously not there we talked about the jump shot he when he gets all the way to the rim he is highly efficient I wonder if this this little floater is something he could do I'll show his little lefty hook a little bit so his touch isn't bad but you see him miss this one but then again the high level athleticism and the offensive rebounding average over two offensive rebounds this past season again according to the season ticket and then I also wonder if he could just turn those drives into little mini post-ups so you see it here it catches kind of on the baseline turns it into a post-up and then you see over the right shoulder with that little lefty hook he showed that little lefty hook quite a bit now the issue is I mentioned he's pretty left hand dominant right now he needs some sort of counter some ability to turn back and score going the other way or if not defenders are just going to set on it like Grady Dick does right there there, block it and it's just not going to be quite the same weapon as you can see from the breakdown so far most of his shot attempts almost 90 percent according to instat and the nine games they tracked came around the rim and he was efficient and over 70 percent of the play types those came from were putbacks cuts and transition again had really good points per possession so here we're going to see him in the dunker spot stepping in ready to catch explode and finish at the rim this is definitely something he can do again here some nice subtle movement on the baseline a guy who I do think looks comfortable playing on the baseline. Didn't show a lot in terms of passing, but he did have one nice possession where he caught it down there and hit a cutting teammate for a layup. And then obviously can go over the top of the defense and catch lobs. Again, transition, cuts, putbacks. Those are the things he's really, really effective in. And then I wonder if he could have been used more as a screen and roll guy. Not a play type that was used a lot, but you see him slip this one, able to catch it. I do think he has good body control. I think he's gonna have to get better using his right hand around the rim, but I was impressed how often he was able to finish through block shot attempts and through contact. And then one final thing I wanted to highlight before we move to his defense, for a guy in his role, if he can be a really good screener and create offense and open shots for his teammates in that way, that would provide great value. See him already pointing here, he knows what's coming, steps out, sets this screen on the weak side and gets his teammate Derek Whitehead an open look. That provides great value for a guy who doesn't create open shots for teammates with the ball in his hands, with his passing, anything like that. But if he can be a great screener, screener, he can get those screen assists and provide value to the offense in that way. Now, as we look at him defensively, I do think he can provide some great defensive versatility. He was matched up with Grady Dick in this game, which means his coaching staff trusted him to understand his assignment and chase him off of these off ball screens as you see here. So he does a good job fighting through even though he got hung up on one of those. And now he's gonna sit down and guard on ball where I think he does a decent job. So I do think he's a guy that again, that can provide versatility. He's guarding a bigger player here. You see him communicating off ball, talking with his teammates. I thought he did a decent job of that. His ability to switch onto the perimeter player. Now one bad habit he has to break is he kind of lunges and goes for those shot fakes and hesitation move, but he's athletic enough. You see an ability to recover there and still contest the little floater. You're gonna see it again in transition. Goes for the hesitation. The offensive player bobbles the ball just enough, but you see Dylan Mitchell's able to recover and then plays with great verticality, which is something we'll talk about when we're talking about rim protection in just a little bit. And then here against Mark Mitchell, a really good player in his own right, you're gonna see just a great on-ball possession. Active, 
moves his feet, stays down, stays in front, uses his length again, and just I think he's a guy that can really guard when he's engaged. Now, there were some possessions, especially in this game, where he showed a lack of engagement, just so it's something he'll have to work on. So confuses the switch there, doesn't show a sense of urgency to get back to the shooter, and then also I would like to see him go get involved on the defensive boards just a little bit more. A guy with his size, his length, his athleticism, I thought he could have been just a little bit more involved. You're going to see a Again, here he gets a little bit ball watchy and gets back door. Not something that's unusual for a young player, just something that he can improve on. And then I thought he made a nice rotation a few different times, but he can be a little bit more physical with that box out. He missed a couple of those, gave up offensive rebounds. So it's just little things, but again, a guy in his role, those are going to be things that are magnified, especially on the defensive end and what he provides in terms of rebounding. And then I do think he can provide weak side rim protection, multiple positions sessions where he came over and is able to contest like he did there but also I mentioned it earlier I think he's smart with verticality and he's not always just going for the highlight block which is important for a young player to learn so in general yes the shooting's going to have to come he's going to have to get better in that area but I love all the other little things he does in terms of cutting offensive rebounds transition I just think he's a player that can really be a play finisher and provide value in that way as he learns and grows in the other areas of offensive game and then defensively I think he provides a lot of defensive versatility in terms of his matchup and then also can provide some rim protection.